What's up you guys, it's Matt here, aka Georgia Gent. And tonight I'm coming to you guys with a pretty big fragrance haul. Uh, it's got lots of it in the mail. Um, got a bunch of fragrances right, right in front of me. Got, got a couple decants. And I got, if you know this right here, you know what that, that uh, symbol is. You know, I got something else that's uh, pretty cool in the mail. Y'all stay tuned. All right, y'all. So first things first, I'd like to thank Howie, Howie and the TOTG Lounge. Um, you're an awesome dude. You're a great man. Um, we've been talking back and forth for, for a while now. He's been continually, you know, w one of my, my main supporters. He's probably, you've probably seen him in all my comments and everything. Howie, thank you. Um, he is he is responsible for for the majority of everything that's going to be in the video. Um, but what I'm going to do is I'm going to take each one of these that he shipped me and give you guys a first impression because I have not smelled any of these. First is going to be Michael Jordan Flight. I, I don't know much about this fragrance. Um, I know it's a cool bottle. It's a, you can see here. It's a real cool little grip. It's like a, like a, it reminds me of like the bottom of, of like a basketball shoe. It's real cool. No, it's one of these guys. Interesting. What was that like? I have a few figures in my collection that smell similar to this. I can't really what it is. It's kind of sweet. I don't know. I'm gonna I'm gonna give, give this some wear before I really break it down for you guys. But I definitely have a few fragrances in my collection that, that smell similar to this. It's not bad. It's definitely a sweeter fragrance. That is nice. I'm gonna need to do a little a little bit of research on this one. Um, that's nice. Yes, Michael Jordan flight, you guys. Um, next, I have the non-intense version of Club Dinuit Man. <laughs> this is Club Dinuit Man. Um, it's EDT concentration. And Howie, thank you for sending me entire boxes. This is, I mean, that was that was going above and beyond, above and beyond, Howie. Um, I've seen this one, this this bottle, on uh, on Scent Nation, on his Scent of the Day a few times. But I've never actually smelled it. This is it, this equally as intense as the uh, as the uh, Club Dinuit Intense Man. Except this one's clear with uh, with brown juice. It's very heavy cap. You see on there. Ooh. I don't know. Is it a clone of? I said that our moth, our moth has a lot of clones. This is nice. Oh, nice. A little bit of, of, of alcohol in the opening. Oh, that's nice. Sweet. This is nice. Almost uh, is that a soapiness? That I might be messing up because because I think this might have hit my hand as well. This is nice too. Everything that everything that I have here is gonna gonna get a full full review from you guys. I just wanted to do a quick little uh, first impressions for you guys. But this is nice. This is real nice. But I think this might have hit my hand as well, so I might be getting some soap from this. That's like a soap soap, like a like a hand soap kind of scent to this. Interesting. Okay. Next, I got CK1 Summer. Um, I haven't heard anything about this fragrance. Uh, that's why... It, it interests me because um, I'm a big fan of freshies, as everyone knows. 
Um, and if this was if, if this was like a deep winter fragrance, I'd be pretty surprised. Cause I mean, come on now. I wonder if anybody actually unscrews that for like traveling with it, or if it's just like their thing. Let's see. Ooh, that summer. It's a clean, it's a clean, fresh fragrance. This is like a, this is straight up gym bag fragrance. This is in a good way. This is a, kind of how like a, kind of how like a knock boys it's like a gym bag fragrance oh yeah that's nice again a little like soapy but that's nice this is nice this is okay I am kind of concerned because because I know CK has they have their longevity issue um, with how long they last but if this could be used simply as, as, as like a gym bag phrase, that would be pretty cool. Because it looks kind of cool. It's easy to, easy to, want to put to put on. And to carry because you can put the crap, you can unscrew the cap and you're good to go. Next is one that I've been wanting to try for, for quite a while. Um, I've seen this one in the stores in the past. I'd never grabbed it, never even smelled it because at the time I didn't really. It looks pretty nice inside. Um, a lot of y'all have this and a lot, a lot of y'all have smelled this. Um, if I'm not mistaken, this is said to be a, a clone of Aventus, I think. What? Hold on. Okay, I can see that. That is nice. It's, it's like a cheap nice, if that makes sense. Um, the cheap nice fragrance, that's what it is. Um, I would say this is the, this is that, the, the, uh, the Aventus clone, I believe. I, I like that a lot. I like this one a lot. This would be a great substitute for, for, for that back there. Cause it's, it's not so harsh on the nose. It's, it's, it's not it's not like Club Dean Witt Intense Man where the opening is like pow in your face. It's kind of subtle, I guess. This is a, uh, this is, is it EDT? I'm sure, I'm sure it's EDT. I don't know. Yeah, this is the, this is the, this is the EDT um, London by but by, by by English Laundry. It's a pretty for it, for it being a cheaper fragrance. This is a pretty cool presentation they have here. That's 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 pretty cool. That's cool. This is the first English Laundry product that I, that that I own, so that'd be fun to 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 to, to try out a little bit. Next, I got a few things. I'm I'm not gonna spray these all in this video, but. He shipped me the some decants of. Um, I told him that I was a big fan of the uh, the Aqua E by Savage Ferragamo, so he was kind enough to ship me a decant of the other three in the line. We have the Indigo, we have the Colonia, and we have the Blue. Um, these those are the other three from the, from the line, um, and. I've heard that this is this this the blue is the favorite of, of the bunch, um, but I'm, I'm still pretty excited to try out the Colonia and the Indigo, um, just because they're they're all three you know pretty high talked about. Hmm. Th this one smells better now. I'm off. I'm also getting like a green leafy, like 
like if, if I was outside outside in summer playing some sports or something, this it's kind of kind of what I get from this. A, a clean green. It's definitely get summer soft fragrance, but man, this one's the cinnamon I think maybe in this that we're getting. I don't know, I don't know, but and lastly but not least, she hit me a little decant of Herod. This one's gonna be this one's gonna be a lot of fun to wear. Yeah, you know, I don't remember him mentioning that that, that he. he He's gonna, gonna send this one. So thank you, Howie. That was, that was very, very kind of you. Uh, I hope this hadn't been getting hit by by that. I hope this sound didn't screwed. I'm sorry if it is, guys. Hey, I'm sorry. I uh, uh, learned from that mistake. Next, I have my box from from the world of Zaharoff. I'm gonna pause this so I can get my knife. All right. All right, y'all. So I'm back. And I am jacketless because I don't want it to mess up with the mic anymore. Uh, again, I'm sorry for that, guys, because I know that sound had been annoying. I just watched a little bit of it, and it annoyed me, so I'm sure it annoyed some of you. So I'm sorry. Um, I still can't kind of get kind of get in the hang of the mic. I'm not used to wearing that thing. I don't think anybody really ever gets used to wearing mics unless you like do public speaking and stuff. Um, but. So this thing open real quick. Yeah, I had issues opening this thing last time, <laughs> and George even t told me how to open the thing up. Oh, uh, I should listen. Yep, did it again. I'm sorry, George. Let's see. Guys, when you're cutting stuff, always cut away from you. It's one thing that I had to learn the hard way at UPS, because when thinking, don't think a lot like that. Uh, but when you start, when you cut yourself open with a, with a blade, when you're trying to cut open some boxes, you learn real quick. So, what we have two here. Okay. Here, have a look. And George says, "Thank you, Matt, for being such an inspiration." That. Thank you, George. And here we have, and now I get to show you guys. We have two here. We have two things here. I or I ordered paper one. Um. Both wrapped up here, and just because last time I didn't really get to give you guys a full, you know, presentation of how the inside looked. Um, we have the inside here. This the top says inspiration can come from the unexpected. I'm learning that more and more every day. That is fact. So first thing we have here. Here we have his Zaharoff. Let's see if I get this in there. Zaharoff signature aftershave lotion. That's, can't smell it yet, but so we have that one. I need to shave, so I'm pretty excited to have this. The last stuff that I had really dried my face out. Um, as some of you guys probably saw in my videos, I had little dry spots on my, on my face. Um, and this next, dude, no way, he, sh he should be grooming well too. How cool is that? Thank you, George. This was up. All right. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go shave real quick. I'm gonna put this thing on and I'll be right back with you guys. And I'm back with a highly requested mustache. Um, guys, this stuff right here is light years ahead of what the the, uh, the other shaving um, oil or lotion that I used last week. 
my face feels so nice. It it smells it smells nice. It feels nice. It's this in a lotion form. Um, as you I mean you can probably just it's it's so nice. Um, I can't wait to to, to you know put this on my face after a shave. It's, this is this is awesome stuff. Um, this will be nice when I can can grow a beard, or I might gift it to somebody. Um, which is where I, can, I mean. I'm probably gonna, gonna get get to get this to someone who who I know has a beard. Um, uh, I, I have a few friends. My, my brother, he can grow a better beard than I can. This is this is this plush stash is about as much as I can get. Um, but yeah, guys, uh, George, I don't. Thank you. This is uh, you're, you're, you've gone above and beyond what anyone could ask in terms of 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 being generous and, and just giving. Um, and now you're making sure that George is in and you can be walking around with a dry face. This is awesome. Um, just because my new job, I, I have to shave my face a lot. I can't really grow, grow this out for too long. Um, definitely can't have this. This is going to go for when this video is done with. I'm going to put some more of this on. But, um, yeah, guys, I have a lot here. I have a lot of stuff here in front of me that I'm going to have to... I have a lot of content coming coming y'all's way. So, um, until next time, guys. I'm Matt, I'm Georgia Gent. Um, if you haven't already, go ahead and hit the like and subscribe down below. Um, I'm gonna I'm, I'm gonna try to list all these products down below. If you, if you have any uh, um, questions, feel free to comment and, uh, um, down below and ask me about them. Um, but until until next time, guys. Um, keep it gent. Don't get bent. And I'll see y'all then.